This is No Procrastination Podcast. I'm Brian. I'm Daniel. And we're here. We're going to give y'all the... the Leaving Neverland. That Leaving Neverland. Finally. Finally. Finally watched it. Yeah, bro. Long as fuck. Goddamn four hours for... Do you like it? In two parts. I mean... I don't really like it. I didn't like the not 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 the, not the stuff they're talking about. More of a uh, the way it was like just the way it was filmed, mm-hmm. the whole thing. I wasn't the biggest fan of the I way. I mean, it was I'm filmed. not here to rate it on the the, f- the camera angles or none of that bullshit. I'm here to I didn't like it like overall. Like I'm not with it, bro. I just to me it was just too biased. Cause they didn't At get first. nobody's other side. Like they just got, at all. They didn't even get interviews. They, I like, they oh, okay. Obviously, it. you can't they get didn't. Michael Jackson, but he he has family, bro. He has interviews. Like you can't, like, bro. Like, come on, stuff. Dude. yeah. Like they really? didn't do anything at all. You can tell. Like this is clearly just a, just looking at it from one side. Just clearly just to take him out. Like, but yeah, like for me, was, there there was a bunch of gaps in each in the in, yeah, right. in Wade's and Jimmy's or James story. Where I was just like, there, there's some questions that need to be asked, I mean, yeah, yeah. and there are a bunch of things that do you do you do have to ask Michael, or even someone close to Michael. Yeah, like. And then, so I'm saying, like, God damn it, y'all motherfucker waited to do this. Shit. He was dead. Let's go into part one. Uh, you want to go in part one and talk about Wade first? I didn't like. I didn't. Let's, let's talk about. Let's talk about Wade. I don't. Let's I don't. Wade. Wade in part one. I don't believe Wade as much as I would believe uh, Jimmy. Really? Just knowing, because you know how close Wade was to the whole family. Well, that's later on, though. I mean, but come on, cause, bro. Because they started off, because they said Wade became a fan at like seven, mm-hmm. and he just idolized him. He called MJ God. That's fine. He said like, that was my God. Sure there's a lot of people calling him God like, back in the tripping. day. Like, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. There's something about just, there's something about Wade that I, I don't believe at all. His part. It came say. off a little like cynical. A little like, it, it seemed a little, him and his family seemed a little more, um, Complicit to doing uh, something, to making stuff up. Yeah, Jimmy actually seemed like her. Like if if I were to believe this stuff, I would believe him more than than Wade. Wade just seems like he's just trying to get a trying to get a bag. Like honestly, I was kind of. <laughs> you see, you remember, you know how Wade got got to me, MJ. You remember how uh, he did the dance competition? Yeah, and, yeah. And how <laughs> they really gave it to him just because he was the youngest one. Yeah, come on, bro. I'd be hella mad. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, I'd be like, bro, what? <laughs> Man. Hey, he was killing it though. I ain't even gonna lie. He was, he was moonwalking and everything. Nah, I don't know. Nah, bro, he was killing that. Uh, shit. Fuck uh, Wade though. I, I thought Wade's Wade's story was iffy to me when his mom said she was never a fan. She never really cared about Michael. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then she like they call him family hella quick. Hella quick. Like, well, I mean, imagine Michael Jackson like reaches out to you like. Nah, they were, his mom but, didn't care about him. His okay, didn't care no, about no, no, no. Obviously, she doesn't care about him, but she knows like how big he is and like the things nah, he. he she didn't say that. But the things he could do for her, her son, success wise, career wise. I don't think she was even thinking that yet. What the f- do you think she was thinking then? Not yet. But what do you think she was thinking? Like, well, it's not like Michael came and said, "I can make your kid a star." No, I know, but didn't he That's say like I don't think she was ma- she was thinking that yet until he got older. That wasn't until like a little little more later. Cause remember they only kicked it a couple. Cause Wade Wade's story is, they met, they brought him on the stage, and this is mm-hmm. and that, and mm-hmm. then that that was really it. Mm-hmm. And then I think uh, MJ called him up, and then they started hanging out a couple times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he invited him to the ranch. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Yeah, then, they went to. I think they said they went to Disneyland. So like, yeah. Not then went to Neverland, and then they just kicked it. And then after when Wade was about to leave, they they saw MJ crying. Outside mm. by himself, mm. and I think that was the first thing where I was like, I need to. I kind of wish they would have got someone on MJ's side. Like, what what else was MJ going through? Mm-hmm. Cause like the way they put it in the doc was, oh, they were crying because they were leaving. Yeah, and I was like, there could have been another reason why he was why he why 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 he was crying to himself. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's, maybe he was that's, depressed. That's what the whole documentary yeah. just kind of pissed me off. It's like. We're just getting one side from two people. Just two people. Now, the biggest bad thing was when his mom said MJ took Wade alone somewhere. And then when she tried to call them, they, she wasn't getting in contact with them. Mm-hmm. And then she said she was hella mad. She was, like, pissed and everything. Mm-hmm. And then she still let him, she still let him, she still let him like, kick it. <laughs> okay, the, another thing. Why, like, the parents are stupid as not even just that. But, but why, like, bro? Both their on. stories are confusing. It's like you you really like this guy. You really like MJ. And then he does something to piss you off. 
but then you go back to really liking him. I think that that's that was the first red flag that she that that she didn't go into more. Like what happened after you you found out he took your kid and you didn't do anything after? I mean, they still kicked it with them after. Like, did she even ask I'm him not, like I'm, where'd you I'm, go? I'm, this is not I wasn't I wasn't sold on the entire documentary, like at all. At all. Not even for like a minute. Like Do you think Jimmy was liked more than Wade? By Michael or yeah, I think Michael liked Jimmy more. I mean, yeah, sure. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not denying like any of the stuff that they said about hanging out with him, like at all. Like I'm like, fuck yeah, like No, nah, I mean I mean like Wade, No 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 I'm Wade, just saying like yeah Wade's story Wade comes off to me comes off that he wanted to be liked more. Like he was like to me, Jimmy or Wade's story, he wasn't getting as much attention as Jimmy was. Yeah, that's fair. That sounds, that sounds that, that's right. what I meant. Like, it right. seems like Jimmy Jimmy uh, was more liked than Wade. Because mm-hmm. they, they didn't know each other until the documentary, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny, by the way. But, but, then, uh, but then, yeah, later on, Wade knew what he was going to gain from just being kicking it with Michael. That's what I'm saying. Because like, he did become a choreographer after that. Yeah, and he was, like, choreographing, like, Britney Spears and shit. He said, like, hello, like, hello. I didn't like. I think one of the biggest things I didn't like was uh, they kind of blamed his dad's suicide on Michael. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think you, don't, you know with that. With that? Nah, I don't. But did they go into? Uh, they said like, Wade. Yeah. They said the family was gonna move to LA, mm-hmm. and his dad wasn't with it. His dad didn't want to move to LA. Um. And pretty much, as soon as they were gonna get on the plane to go. It, their dad was just like dead at the airport, and like something was wrong with them. Mm-hmm. And then when they came over, when they came to LA, was when they found out he died. Mm-hmm. When he hung himself. I don't, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like I can't. I think, but then, but then his sister said, his sister said that his uh, little brother Wade didn't know. Like his, I guess Wade was really upset at his dad's mental illness, mm-hmm. and he was pushing his dad away. Mm-hmm. And, he was and just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff like that. And I was just like, I don't think his dad killed himself because of MJ. Because the whole situation, I think it was just because his family was full of shit. It could have also been... No, I think it was the family. But it I been. think the ba- family doesn't want to blame the dad's death on them, on themselves. That they weren't... But supposedly, supposedly the they were saying, which I don't even, I don't even believe this part either. They were, supposedly they were saying that he killed himself because of the guilt that he made his son say no in, in the court. And that, that, and that no, people. See, see, no, see, I googled that. There, there was nothing about that. The documentary was, it was, it didn't even mention that at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't even, that wasn't even reported. There, that, I know. I'm saying that's what they were saying though back in the day, like when he did it, like when he uh, died. Uh, uh, they were saying that oh, he was so guilty because he made it, he told his son to lie or whatever, mm-hmm. and say that Michael Jackson was doing all these things when he wasn't, and the guilt got to him and he killed himself, which yeah. I don't even know to be true. I, I tried finding it, I couldn't find it. It's it, bro, it's like impossible. But what, the, but what they said was they tried to, they, they kind of blamed it on Michael, mm-hmm. the death of his kid and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then even after they moved in with, not moved in with Michael, they moved to LA. Moved to LA. Um, <laughs> Wade got jealous of a uh, who's that Home Alone kid? Oh, uh, Kali McCulkin. Yeah. So then, so I guess call it. So that fool came came into Michael's life, mm. and then he became the new kid. Yeah. And so Wade became hella jealous and stuff. I'm I'm, I'm not denying that f- Michael was a f- weirdo, bro. Like, I know he had like a f- weird, um, interest in like kids. Wade didn't. I don't know. Wade didn't give me much about like how he felt in the moment. Like neither did Jimmy. Like I didn't get much from Jimmy. Gave me more. Jimmy didn't give me anything. Jimmy was, but Jimmy was, was detailed. Not even. He was detailed. He's like, oh, uh, Michael liked it when I did this and this Wade and this. Wade said the same thing. I didn't believe Wade at all for a second, though. What do you mean, though? Wade but Wade, Wade, Wade seems like a little fucking... He just out here to get the money and get, to get the bag. And why? Because they, like they said, he tried to get a book out on this hella long ago. And then he tried to get into the Cirque show and they didn't want him in it. After, it after dating the fucking niece also... So the family kind of just uh, like. What do you mean the Cirque show? The the he Cirque du Soleil show. He, he was wasn't in it. Yeah, so, he, but he, he wanted he, to be the head. He choreographed. He wanted to be the head choreographer, and they said no. They didn't want him to do that. No, but he was in was, it. He no, was no, in no. it. He wanted him and Michael kicked it right after that, after he choreographed it. So that's where him and Michael met. So that part. So he became the choreographer of the the circuit. The, the circuit Cirque du Soleil whatever. show. 
And then after MJ, I think either he, I think MJ called him and was like, oh, can you bring wine to my, my house? This is way after, this is after my, MJ already had kids. And so him and his wife, where him and Wade's wife go over and they said, Michael just started drinking all the wine. Like mm-hmm. he was just turning up mm-hmm. and that they talked and then he just locked himself in his room mm-hmm. and then for like two hours and then they just left because then his kids were like, he's fine. And stuff like that. I don't, I don't. I don't believe any of the documentary. Like it just didn't seem like I. I want to believe it, but there's just so little, like evidence that's like right in your face. Like because they're literally just talking. And yeah, they have they have voice rec- uh, phone recordings of like Michael like calling to the kid and everything. Like yeah, that's fine. But like, those aren't that. I mean, with that, um, that wasn't even the. Uh, I forgot. I, I remember when they did the interview. When he did the interview with either Jimmy or Wade. And they're going to Hawaii. Yeah, and, yeah. and then uh, they tried to. I think it was Wade or Jimmy that said, uh, "Michael, you could just hear the fascination in Michael's voice." Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear it. Some, I'm like, "What are you?" Michael t- sounded more passionate when yeah. he was talking about it. Like he yeah. sounded hella passionate yeah. when he was talking. But like a fascination. I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Like, I didn't hear what he was hearing. Uh, yeah, or what but, he thought he heard. Yeah, what he thought he felt like. No. So, um. See, the reason I can't believe Jimmy's story is because he, was, he wasn't he was even a fan of MJ either. He didn't like MJ like that. They just met on a commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember then, that. And then they met in the trailer. And then his mom, his mom says she felt comfortable after Jimmy told her he acts like a nine-year-old. Mm-hmm. Which, which he, I don't get. Like, what? But he, he kind of <laughs> did, a, though. That's a little weird, though. No, nah, before a parent. Oh, no, because no, she no, says no. she felt hella comfortable with Michael right no, after no, that. No, I would feel... She, she said as a person she didn't question it, she didn't do anything. I would feel even more weird, like Are you not? Yeah. But but then even like when Michael sent people to take pictures of Jimmy and stuff, like they forced him, like they took down all his stuff and they put Michael Jackson posters and everything. Mm-hmm. See, like Jimmy didn't even like this fool. Mm-hmm. He didn't even care about MJ. Mm-hmm. Um And then so did, I don't know if you know, did he have did he have allegations before he was doing the shoot with Jimmy talking to Jimmy? Uh, because before I remember, talking cause, to Jimmy, because Jimmy, because Jimmy said people at school would tell him Michael they, Jackson's weird. They were speculating it at the time. So were there just rumors? They were just not even rumors, but just saying like, "Oh, why is Michael always around kids?" That that was it. It so, was just talk. So, so there were kids before Jimmy and Wade, right? But no allegations though. But yeah, there was kids. So a, the kids uh, that would go over Never, Neverland Ranch and stuff. Yeah. But he didn't have Neverland yet. That's what I mean. Well, the, then kids that were with him, I guess. I don't think he had, yeah. Because there was... Because with Wade, he just had bought Neverland. Oh, you're right, yeah. I remember, like, something like yeah. that. But there was... But, there like, was... I remember Jimmy said, like, the yeah. kids at school, and he was only... He was only... What was he? He was only... He was only nine. I was going to say, he's like, seven. Months. And so he was nine, and he said that the kids at school told him, like, Michael's weird. But, the, yeah, but there was... It wasn't allegations. It was just talk, like, oh, why, Michael is always around kids. Like, nobody finds that, like, weird or something. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? So I thought, like, I don't know how that was not a red flag for his parents either. Even though, like, Jimmy Jimmy thought it was weird. They all thought it was weird. Mm-hmm. And then even after that, even after they, apparently, they said Michael asked them to dance for him mm-hmm. to his music. Mm-hmm. And then they just started. That was the first iffy part for me. Because that was the first iffy part for Michael to me. Because it was weird. Like, why why you want this kid? How do you know he did it, though? That's what, I was about to get to that. Like it, it, like, it, like it is weird that he is asking for it, but then when I looked at it, I was like, maybe it's his crew trying to get like a video of just uh, of just kids like liking his music, mm-hmm. liking Michael and stuff. Uh, but that was the first iffy part for Michael for me. I don't know Jimmy's emotions and his mom's emotions just are back and forth. It's like you either hate him and you really don't care about him, or you his don't like mom, him, and his, then and then it goes to oh we we love his Michael. mom seemed like she. Loved him honestly, like she Jimmy's just mom? yeah she just, nah, it, no it seems like she just loved everything that he was that he was able to provide for them like how they went to Hawaii how they oh were, yeah once he, they went to Hawaii once uh, as soon as they went to Hawaii I was like they know what they're getting themselves into yeah they know they're taking advantage of Michael mm-hmm. because she even said she was like he, we were getting into commercials like they realized yeah, yeah. like that I'm saying that I think she liked that about him like how he presented like opportunity for them like but even before that like they kept calling him weird like they kept like saying like a bunch of shit about him and then they were hella excited and happy that he befriended them mm-hmm. that's why i don't know jimmy's story is just weird for me mm. it's not it just yeah nah just their feelings and emotions just back and forth it's like do you hate this guy or do you not or do you like love him 
I don't believe either of them. I, yeah, no. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I, I, I need more. I don't want. I don't even want to say they're lying. I think they. But... I think I would have liked it if they went into the family life, because Jimmy said he started really loving Michael because Michael was giving him attention and mm. making him feel loved. <clears throat> so that made me question: Did you have friends at school? Did your parents like? How was your how's your how's your household life? But what is that going to factor into into the documentary? What do you mean? Like, why, why, why would we care to know that if he had friends or if he was social? How does that... Because then they're making... They're playing it out. Well, just mostly just accepting it. No, not accepting it. Just confirming that I had, that my parents didn't love me. So that's why I fell into Michael's... I feel like that's what they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. Was a doubt. I feel like they're... I feel like with Jimmy... With Jimmy's story, they are trying to portray it as Michael manipulated this kid mm-hmm. who wasn't... Was what it wasn't didn't live in a loving home, wasn't getting attention from his parents, this, this, and that. But they weren't, they weren't like, they weren't saying it. They were saying like little stuff, like when Jimmy said he just wanted attention to be loved. Mm-hmm. But he didn't say he just wanted it from Michael, mm-hmm. he just said it in general. No. And Michael being who he is, and he really did love kids, like people did say he did. Like, yeah, but love kids, like, how? Like, I like that, just even like just That's what I'm saying. Kids as a person. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just talking about Jimmy just getting the attention and love he wanted that he wasn't getting at home. Mm-hmm. I don't know, bro. And they also, Jimmy, Jimmy's story isn't like, it came off as not an easy telling story because it does happen, but with the bribes. Uh, when, he like said the, Mike, when he said Michael gave him a, like 100 bucks or something like that, yeah, and then he yeah. gave him his jacket and mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, that was also it. Just his, his story wasn't consistent at that point to me. Yeah, it, it's not even that's because not. It's it, okay. It's like so. First, you wanted your love and attention from Michael, and then you started liking him more once he started bribing you. Once mm-hmm. he started giving you things, giving you stuff. Yeah. And then it goes back to he still hasn't said that he really like is friends with Michael yet because he doesn't say that until they go on tour. Yeah. He says he doesn't start being friends with him. He doesn't start fully liking Michael until they go on tour. Until they went on tour. Yeah. And so yeah, that's why I don't believe Jamie's story. It's like it's not it's not being consistent. Your timeline seems a little off. You your mom seems like his mom seems like he doesn't like him at all. Um, not that he she doesn't like him at all, but she, I, she just liked like like. And then, yeah, and then once they went to Hawaii, yeah, that they got same as Jimmy. Like I think she just liked the the stuff that he gave them. Ish. Not like see, see he wasn't a fan. I don't see how you could be a fan of someone and then accept a jacket from them and be like, damn, I love you. But I don't really, I never really liked you, never was a fan of you. I'm telling you, I think they just wanted like like objects, like uh, like, uh, objective, uh, let me see, I forgot, I don't know, but they just wanted things, like material things, materialistic. Mm -hmm. I don't think they ever really liked him, like liked him, liked him like that, like as a person. I think they just knew, like, oh, this is Michael Jackson, this is like the biggest star in the world, like, why would we not? Try to be friends with him or something. Or try to be around him. That was my whole thing. Yeah, I get that. No, bro, I don't know. <laughs> his mom didn't his mom didn't think it was proper either though. In the beginning when Michael first asked if he yeah. could they could sleep together. Um That's also weird. Like she thought nah, I mean like it is weirder to ask that, but I feel like she like the parents are dumb, man. Well no. Michael told the kid you have to ask your mom for permission if it's okay. But, you know, I'm talking about the trailer. I'm talking about, like, because she didn't, she wasn't weirded out with the trailer. Mm-hmm. But then she became weirded out over, like, other little things. Yeah, but it's not like Michael went to her and was like, oh, can you sleep with me? It was Michael, apparently, it was Michael telling the kid to ask the mom for permission to feel it's okay first. And then from there, after she said, like, yes, yeah, like, the first time, it just it was like a everyday thing, I guess. Uh, So... Jimmy was it Jimmy was Jimmy the one trying to be a choreographer? No, that's Wade. And he wasn't. He did be, end up becoming no, 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 a choreographer. No, no, no. Yeah, Wade was the choreographer. Yeah. He was the filmmaker. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um That's why Wade's story doesn't add up to me at all. What do you mean? Uh he knew Michael Jackson since how old was he? Little kid, eight. whatever. It doesn't matter. Wade was eight. 
Eight. Okay, fine. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, set like seven, eight. Yeah. Seven, okay, eight. And, and then ever since then till Michael Jackson died, I guess they were cool. I'm pretty damn sure. Like they were fine. Like I said, he dated the niece. They were all like a like uh Michael Jackson's brother would say all the time like oh this fool would come over and he would hang out with us and stuff like he was cool you know mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you know the Cirque stuff happens I I don't know like what you said I guess but they say that they didn't let him be the the head choreographer which is what he wanted to be it wasn't Michael's show though that's why I don't get like what but they they still had to get permission from the states I guess so Michael could still have his hand in in something if he wanted to. Uh. You know, because, I mean, obviously they asked him for permission. Mm-hmm. But then, so I guess he didn't get that. Like, the very top, he wanted, like, the head choreographer. I'm sure he was still in it. He probably was still in it, like you said. Yeah. But uh, he wanted the head choreographer. They didn't let him get it. Now, after all that shit, after you and, and it wasn't even, like, the first time he went to, to testify, like, in court. And he, and he uh, in 2003, when the, when the stuff was happening, and he, he, he was protecting Michael. He said he was not guilty. He said he was innocent. And then still, even after that, as he got older, there was a, there's videos of him, bro. You can look this up on YouTube. Of him older, like, in his 20s, like, saying, yeah, Michael, like, never, never did anything to me. Like, and now years later, bro. After they deny you the Cirque stuff, after you stop dating your niece, after you're not really a part of the family anymore. Like, what are we doing, bro? I mean, Wade... That's why I don't believe Wade. Wade was for sure the... Or at least in part two, Wade... Um, Wade, Wade brings it up. Wade does talk about not not coming forward to it. But he does, he does try to take it to court, but they tell him it's too late. Mm. Um, his mom says some crazy stuff. Like, like his mom... They're talking about the bri- the settlement, the first one. With yeah, Michael the, gave him the money, right? With, Chan- no, with Chandler. Yeah, Michael yeah, he, he, settled for 20 mil. Yeah, he should have never done that shit, honestly. What? After, after after him settling, that opens the door for all, like, Wade and Jimmy to, to be able to say stuff like this now. Like, if he would have never settled, then he would have beat that shit. You don't think there's another reason he settled? Like... No. What do you mean? I don't. It's a settlement. Bro, they had, there was an FBI investigation from 1993 to 2003, I believe, and they didn't find shit. Yeah. 10 year investigation, bro. I know you've seen that shit. Oh, yeah. How they don't find shit. Why did he not settle? Bro. His only reason for not settling was because he said it would cost more to keep fighting it. I know. And, and I, it probably would have, but overall, like in the long term, it would have probably been better if he would have just kept that shit going. Because he just gave in to what they wanted, which was money, right? He just paid him. He was like, all right, fine. Like, I just, I'm just want to go on with my life. I'll pay you. Mm-hmm. By him doing that, it just opens the door for more people to... Because then now they know, like, oh, Michael's like... Like, we, we could get paid. Like, if we... Like, Michael, he'll, he'll give in. Like, after a while, he'll give in. Like, if you would have just kept that shit going. Like, you see what's happening now. Like, fuck documentary. But even out. after that, you don't think Michael's team would have made it so he just stopped having contact with kids? That would... Yeah. Like, why... That's why I didn't get either Because like After he paid the settlement He was still Had kids coming to the Neverland Ranch and stuff mm-hmm. So like he's stupid Because it just made him look more bad Like Like bro They just You just you were just in court for a case Like involving kids and stuff Like don't Keep having them around you Like you know mm-hmm. I don't I don't know Michael Michael's a fucking weirdo bro I'm not I'm not saying he wasn't He was a fucking weirdo What do you mean by weird? Like what, is, what do you think he had? Or did? Well, he definitely had a childhood, or, or little to no childhood. Yeah, that's what Wade's Joe, mom said. Joe Jackson beat him the f*** up, bro. Him, him and his brothers. So you whooped them, like, like beating the f*** up. So yeah. this this is what they say, is that Michael acts like a little kid all the time because he didn't have, like, a childhood. So he's just, like, forever stuck in in that time that he was. Bro, this fool been performing since five years old. Michael? Yeah, since five, five? bro. But he didn't put out like his first like his like song at till eight. But mm-hmm. he's been performing since five years old, bro. That's fucking crazy. He didn't have no type of childhood, dude. Like a toddler, like coming into like, and just from then just going on to. And that's why they say he acts like a little kid because he didn't have a childhood, and that's why he like he felt like a, a a little kid at heart. So that that that's why he had like a fascination in children because he probably saw children as like these innocent. People that will like never hurt you or anything, cause he grew up like the tabloids were saying everything about him, bro. 
Tavo was trying to say he trying to make himself look white when it was just vitiligo. Oh, his skin. His yeah, skin. like, bro, what? Like, you don't think that's weird, bro? Come on. Trying to get him for anything. I mean, yeah, but... That's or that's a red flag right there. Like, them trying to say he trying to turn himself white when it's just, like, skin condition. Oh, but that's just, that's just media. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's why he just, he's like, I think he saw every grown up as like, oh, you're just, you're just trying to come out to get me. Like, like you don't, he did get married, though. you don't really love me. Married? Yeah, he did get married. To? A woman. Uh, Elvis Presley's daughter, right? Uh, I don't know who she was. I think it was, yeah, but they didn't, they, they split up quick. But it was, it was Elvis. Really he hated It was Elvis people. Presley's daughter. Like, he like. But apparently all the, all the women that's been with Michael says like, they never had sex. This is. <laughs> what do you mean? How, what? I know he's weird. I know he, he said that he they just use them as like, same, like he just said they used them. Virgin. He just said they use them as surrogates. Surrogates. Yeah, like he he would uh, give his like his semen and like put it in them, like to Offering that's that, kids. yeah that's kids. why he has kids yeah. But they they both said like they, they we never had sex. Yeah. And apparently they say that Joe Jackson like chemically castrated him. To keep his voice, like, that's why his voice is, like, it sounds like a little kid. So, no. th- that also means he doesn't have, like, testosterone, bro. No. So, he can't get, like... What? That's just... That's a conspiracy. Mm, I believe that shit. You hear his voice, bro? That does not sound... That shit doesn't sound normal at all. I don't think Joe... What? Because you can do that. You can chemically, chemically castrate somebody. No. Yeah, you just cut off... You basically cut off them from, uh, like, their hormones, like, something in their hormones. From, like, uh, you hitting, like, puberty and, like, getting older and stuff like that. Yeah, I know you're talking about. So, I, I believe that because you hear his voice. That shit don't, that shit don't sound like regular regular stuff, bro. People do that now. Like, singers, they don't chemically cast it, but they try to... They have, like, um, voice coaches, you know, who yeah. try to tell them, like, how to keep their voice, like, how you, how it wasn't. I think Justin Bieber tried to do that when he was going through puberty. He tried to keep his voice... Try to keep the love yeah. voice? He didn't chemically cast it or nothing, but I heard Joe Jackson do that shit. And I believe that more than anything because you can actually hear it in Michael's voice. I mean, it's, it doesn't sound normal, bro. At all. This fool never had sex. He couldn't get horny because he didn't have no f- You don't think room. just because he was around these kids so much, like sleeping with these kids, the same bed, like you, anything had one down? But who said he was sleeping in the same bed? He did. What do you mean? Who? Him. MJ? Yeah. To who? What do you mean? To who? He was asking. To who? What do you mean, the kids? And the, did they say on the documentary? Just in general, yeah. <laughs> but did they say on the documentary, like pretty much? Is there evidence on that, like that he asked? Yeah. I mean, because there's also a video. There's a video of him. And I'll show you after of him with the kid. They were interviewing him, yeah. and he was like, yeah, "They would sleep in my room, but I would be like, no, you sleep in the bed, and I'll sleep on the floor." And even the kid, all even the kids would be like, "Yeah, I slept in the bed, and Michael would sleep on the floor in like a sleeping bag." And so how long? So, like, it's every, all it's ever going to be is you saying one thing and me saying another thing. I'm not saying that, though, but you could be in a room for so long. You're saying for a year. You're with a kid in a room mm-hmm. for a year. Mm-hmm. Not even just a kid. You're in, you're in the room with... A person. Yeah, even in a general. female. Like, you don't mm-hmm. even like. You don't mm-hmm. even have a love interest in. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do anything? It's kind of sus. What do you mean? So, you're saying if you're in a room with a with a... A guy for a whole year, you you gonna have to end up doing I something mean like that. No, okay, I meant, so I meant, change change like, what you're I saying there. Female. No, you say with a person in I general. Said with a female. Okay, but these little boys. If he didn't like women, well, and he didn't have a public relationship with a man, but he, he really has loved to have children. He has to have a. And public... he says he's been having sleepovers with little kids mm-hmm. in his room mm-hmm. for years. In his room, but not in the bed. Okay. Yeah, so where's your correlation? So where's I'm your saying... correlation? You, but you're just doing this off of assumption, like okay, if, obviously if you're gonna be in this, I'm saying in a, you're saying it's not likely, anything's likely to happen. Why does it have to be likely though? Explain that reasoning to me. Why does it have to be likely? Because it's not something. Just because I sleep in the same room as somebody for a year doesn't mean I'm gonna end up in the bedroom with them like sooner or later. Could be though. That's but what why, you can't just it's a high possibility. No, there's really not. You can have your own space in your bedroom, and they can have their own space in their in their bed. Like, what, if there's two beds in a room, one person can have one bed, the other person can have the other bed. It doesn't mean that one person's going to hop into the other bed sooner or later. So, what about when they were having sex all over Neverland, though? But where, where's the evidence other than him saying, we had sex here, we had sex here, we had sex here, we had sex here? What do you mean? No, Give I me mean, your reasoning. Even, even his uh, maid was like, 
his maid. Was she saw. Like, she yeah, saw them having sex. No, she saw. She saw. She saw them coming she out. Saw, of what's his name? His uh, Wade's like uh, underwear on the ground and and uh, Michael's while they were showering together. And and so we're just supposed to believe the maid, right? Oh my god. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, oh, though. Well, do you believe the? This is what I'm saying. It's all. Uh, if this you don't want to believe the victim or the victims. Then. Okay, let me pull up 100 videos of Michael Jackson saying he didn't do it. Now what? Well, then you didn't. Now you it's didn't just do. person against person, right? Yeah. So where the f exactly? We're, we're, there's nothing we can get from until there's hard evidence. Then what's hard evidence to you, though? Uh, I need f like a picture, because like a video, or some. Shit. He settled in court, though, so they couldn't take it. To yeah, that. because he just didn't want to keep continuing. He said that. Shit I can pull up a video of that also. Then what are you going to say? You know what I'm saying? It's all ever just going to be say he say, he say, she say. We're never going to get anywhere with this shit. This shit that. died down. Give it two years. This shit not going to be a thing anymore. I get that. You know what I'm saying? It's not even It's not even me just saying like, oh, I, I, I don't want to believe anything. It's me saying this person said something and then this person said another thing. So who the f am I supposed to believe? So you're, you, you never believe the victim? Or am, am I supposed to automatically believe the victim? No. Okay. But then. to have no, there's difference from believing the victim 100 percent and trying to hear him out. I'm trying to hear him out. Yeah. But I'm also but trying to hear Michael Jackson out. There's hundreds of videos of him also saying but other you're stuff. You're more likely to not hear from Michael because he doesn't. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't speak. He didn't I can do, pull up a hundred videos of him. That many interviews. But I'm gonna send you hella videos after this. He didn't do that many interviews. I'll, I'll send you a hundred videos after this. It's just he say, she say. There's literally, like, no point. We're not getting to anything. I'm not saying he didn't do it, and I'm not saying I don't believe, like, the people, like, fucking over here talking shit. But until they bring out some hard evidence, that's when we can finally, like, settle, like, oh, he did it. Or, oh, he didn't do it. I, I think I'd prefer if the kid, the kids who did take it to court, I do want to hear their side. Wade. No, 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 no. The, one, the ones. Oh, the other kids? Well, the kid who settled, he can't talk about yeah. it. Um, there was another kid where he got acquitted. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was the wheelchair wheel wheelchair kid, mm -hmm. the one that Wade uh, Wade defended him for. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would have really preferred in the, if in the documentary they tried to get in contact with them. With him? Yeah, with him. Why do you think they didn't though? Because because Wade defended Michael against the the kid in the yeah. wheelchair. I forgot his name, but he defended him against him. Mm -hmm. And if Wade was also a victim, I don't think it would be that hard for Wade to get in contact with That's the kid. That's what I'm saying. So why don't you think that they got in contact with the kid? Like, what's your reasoning as all? Well? That didn't. That Wade's lying. That's what I'm saying. Bro. I don't think they're being told the truth. I'm just telling, telling the documentary. I know, but, like, come on. Like, this whole thing was just fishy. And you know, give it a year or two, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. But you know why? Because this has been talked about for, like, the past 20 years. And every time it comes up... It goes right back under. Because there's never hard evidence to come out. I'm waiting for the hard evidence to come out. Like, I want to... But you just said hard evidence for you is word of mouth for Michael. No, I said it was video or, like, picture evidence or something hard evidence. But if it's just them two... Them, them two as in Wade and, and Jimmy? Or just a kid and Michael? Yeah. You don't think it's possible that things could disappear? I mean, I don't know. What do you mean? Brian, oh. you said you said hard evidence to you is a video or a picture. Mm -hmm. so the, not the, not just those two things, obviously, but like anything else. Like, like what else? I don't fuck hard evidence. What do you call Michael, hard evidence? Michael, I mean, you can't. You don't call. You don't call. You don't call word of mouth hard evidence. That's all I'm saying, right? You do it, not it, call. It, you do it, not it, call it, word of mouth hard evidence. You just see it, what it, happened it, with it Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. It can be a fact, though. It can be a fact, but it's not hard evidence. But you just all right. So what else is hard evidence for you? Look up. I don't know. Look up what hard evidence. I don't know what the. I mean, for you, hard evidence is different for everybody. That's why they have. A, I they, said. I that's said why like, they have a grand jury. I said like people, picture, like people. video evidence, or, or fucking samples, like. But that's what I'm saying. DNA samples, so, some weird shit like that. What I'm saying is, let's say Michael. Let's say Michael was weird. He was into recording, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it is Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael was like, and they even said it in the documentary, they, he was very suspicious. Mm -hmm. Not suspicious, but he was very uh, uh, cautious. About, yeah, cautious of everything. About getting caught, like yeah, and yeah. he made them like get rid of their underwear and everything. Mm -hmm. and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You don't think if you have videos before his death that you'd get rid of them? Uh, well, the way he died was kind of sudden. I don't think he emptied out his whole catalog of fucking videos and an audio of him fucking little kids. So you don't think anyone else in his camp would have been like, we gotta get rid of these? What if I say yes, then what? 
then I'm just saying that you have to look for other ways to find evidence for other. I don't have evidence. to look for it because I'm never gonna find it. If it's out there, I would find it. So I would have already found it. If it's out there, everybody would have already found it. Yeah. It's not out there. That's what I'm saying. We have to wait till it comes out if there is any. But that's what I'm saying. You're contradicting yourself. How am I contradicting myself? Because if. Because you just because if you if there is no more hard hard evidence mm-hmm. and it's just gone mm-hmm. and then that now, doesn't mean now it, okay that now doesn't mean it never happened no okay of course not but can they prove it that's my thing I'm waiting for them to prove it bro I'm not out here like oh I'm only on Michael's side like everybody says I'm waiting for them to prove it prove it somehow but prove it I can't just go up to you and you say like oh hey I was touched by by Michael Jackson and I'll be like okay I believe you even if they describe it okay what if I tell you I was touched by an older man and I described like everything like I feel bad for you you don't believe you you. believe me automatically yeah (laughs) what do you mean alright you're dead to me now what you believe me uh no thank you what what do you mean no that was so extreme (laughs) bro come on there's so many reasons why that wouldn't be a thing a correlation explain to me quick because we don't don't well, kick it like that. Like, what do you mean? Okay, that's just, stupid, bro. What do, you, what do you mean? Oh, my God. This is exactly what I'm saying. You don't believe me, right? No, because I could There's probably I could probably think of reasons why. But if you were to tell me some other man, then, yeah, because I don't know this other person. But why wouldn't you want to believe me if I told you it was, like, your d- some shit? Because that's your d- right? You know your d- Yeah, and just because knowing his schedule, knowing yours, like, they just don't. They okay, don't but make, f- schedule, I bro. think that I know. No, no. My thing is, there's a higher chance that you'd been touched by a family member of mine than if you were to randomly tell me some random guy. So you you believe family members would would do it like to their because you know more information about the people closest to you mm-hmm. that there would be you, you would think there's a less likely chance it happen. But if you're just telling me from word your mouth. Someone else did that I don't know, mm-hmm. then yeah, I'd believe you. Okay, that, that's that's fair. Cool, that's fair. But it's not saying if you were to tell me one of my family members touched you, would I believe you? Partially, not all the way. No. And then what if you like? But what then if you, I would ask more. That's exactly. But you, what if you wanted to ask that said person and they told you no? Then you have to come back to me, right? I wouldn't ask them like that though. I'd ask you for everything. Okay, you ask me for everything. Blah blah blah. You want to get down to it? You go ask them, and then they tell you no. Then you have to come back to me and be like, are you lying? Like, because you know, like, a said family member. Yeah. And you would prefer to believe them because that's, that's, that's like you. That's, that's it's your not blood. preferred. It's just a less likely chance just because I know them. Okay, that's a better choice of words, yeah. But then you would have to come back to me and be like, yo, are you lying? Like, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's two different things. But it, how is it two different things? Because you're telling me some random person. I'm talking about one of your family members. Oh, what do you, what do you mean? You're comparing that to if you were telling me some other random person. I'm talking about one of your family members right now. Okay, yeah. If they did it. Like I said, I would tell you things, then you would be like, oh, you would try to get more information out of me, right? Then yeah. you would go ask them, like, is it true, blah, blah, blah. Not straight up, obviously, but... And then they say well, no. I'd probably tell you to then put a case up for it. But you would need inf- more information out of me, right? Nah, I'd tell you... Well, why are you going to tell me to put it. up a case up for it, then? Because everything needs a case. So I and I that's need I more information. Believe, that's why I don't believe Jimmy's. That's what I'm saying, bro. It it never. You see how this works out though. It's always gonna be back and forth. You see how you have an answer to everything that I say. Yeah. This is exactly what it is, bro. It's never gonna. It's, it's never gonna be like, oh, he did it or he totally didn't do it. It's totally different when there's someone in position of power with money, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, he sold on it, bro. Even, I mean, I believe Wade a little more just because he did try to take it to court, and Jimmy didn't at all. Um, I think if I was to believe Wade, he was a kid who really loved Michael and fantasized but, about Michael. But you don't a lot. think, but you don't think it's weird that Wade hung around the family even after Michael died. Uh, you don't think that's a little sus, bro? What do you mean? He still, he was still with the family even after Michael died and. Sh- like, was he still dating his? Niece? I think he was. I don't know if he was though. When did Michael died, two thousand eight. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, but eight, he was still hanging out with him. Pretty, even even if it was before Michael died, that's still pretty recent. Two thousand seven, let's say he was still hanging out with them. Mm-hmm. You don't think that's kind of sus? This was like in his. How old was he in the in the documentary? He said like thirties. What do you mean? How old, how old was he? Last time he was touched. 
No, last time in, in the documentary, what did he say? His age was like 30 something. I think some uh, shit like that. Maybe. This was like a grown up, bro. Like in his, in his high 20s, and he's still hanging around the family by the person that abused him, supposedly. Why would you do that? Because people. Why would you hang around? Is what I'm saying. Because victims can get attached. Messed up. Yeah. What do you mean? There is Stockholm Syndrome. There is that. <laughs> And just five years later, he wants to. I mean, he could have done it for a bag, but I think. He could have done it for a bag. He could have actually been touched. But I think, he, I mean, you still have to hear him out, though. I know. We already heard him out. He put the f- two-part documentary on HBO. You don't think we heard him out? Like, Yeah. Everybody heard him out. I get it. But now what? Where do we go from this? You think about possible other victims? You, you, know, you don't really think about them. You just wait for them to come out. Like, you can't just. Grab a handful of people in their thirties and be like, "Hey, did Michael Jackson touch you?" Maybe this gives I mean, a kind of. no. Maybe this gives a voice. I mean, I think Wade and Jimmy should have. That's what? what I said. I think they should have came in it. contact with other. Yeah. Well, what about like the hundreds of kids that said that Michael Jackson didn't do anything? So? Um. Then that's fine. Like you pick and choose which ones did and which ones didn't. They did or not. But then who, you're supposed to believe the ones that say he did just because they say he did it? No, you try to hear other stories up. Because Macaulay Culkin has outspokenly said that Michael Jackson never did anything to him. Yeah, and so did the other kid. I forgot his name. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. The got, like, dark hair or something. They mentioned him. Yeah. yeah. So then, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even trying to fuck against everything they say, but I'm just trying to give you... Like a, a back and forth type thing, because that's all it's ever gonna be. Somebody says one thing, and then I say something, and then they say something, and then I say something. There's just there's no going anywhere from this, bro. There's not. So you just drop it, or you just don't think about it. Like me? Yeah. I'm. I'm. I don't want to say I don't think about it, but I'm. I'm just like I said. I'm waiting for that. That proof. To come out. But that's what I'm telling you. There's going to be no proof. So then where do we go from this? You... Like I said, I think they should reach out to other, other kids. But then... That were there. Okay, but what are you expecting to gain from from hearing them out? Like, what is it... Say there's like 20 more kids that say Michael Jackson touched them. Does, does that... That increases the, the belief. Chance? No, yeah. that increases the belief that he did it, right? Yeah. And then say... Let's say 100 kids come out and say that Michael Jackson didn't do anything to them. Does that increase or decrease your belief? It depends what you're asking them. If you're asking them if they, if you, they, if they got touched mm-hmm. or if they speculate that he touched uh, other kids. Either or, I guess. Well, it depends on what they said. If they said we think, if all the other kids who said no, we didn't get touched, but we do think he did. But well, okay, yeah. okay. Let, let's say a hundred more kids come on. They just, just like just like when Wade said, wait, when Wade got replaced, Wade's with so with Chandler, mm-hmm. and and, Ch- and Michael would take Chandler to the other room. Wade said he would know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Even though they would be split. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I mean. If okay. the other kids weren't touched, then yeah. It depends on what else they got to say about it. That's but don't we have I to hear them, them out too also? What do you mean? The kids that say if Michael didn't do anything. Like say you asked a hundred so you say you asked a hundred other kids, like did, did Michael Jackson ever touch you or did you ever see him touching or did you have any suspicions of him touching anybody else? And they all said no. And then you ask them, do you think he he did with other kids. I just, yeah, I just said that. Do you did, have you specu- have you it seen did, him? It would depend any- on what they say. Yeah, yeah, what if they all said no? They all said no to both. Yeah, to both. Well, then yeah, then you can further into the other group of people who say yes. Yeah, so but, but would you would your belief go further into the hundred other kids or the twenty other kids that said yes? What do you mean? It doesn't have to go all the way to one. I'm, I'm saying I'm obviously I'm saying which does your belief decrease from the kids that said they that they have been touched? And does it go more into the side of the kids that say he didn't do anything? Or does it just stay equal, like right there? Uh, I guess it depends. Yeah, if they all fully said no to everything, yeah. then yeah, it decreased probably. It decreased probably, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. You see what I'm saying, well, though, right? There's other factors, I but think you see, there's ask. a pattern, though. Yes. Yeah. I How guess. one person says no, and then two people say yes, and then five people say no. It. That's why there's other things you can ask, though. Like what? One of them I just said. What? If you uh. If they if they if they themselves think uh, that other people got touched, yeah, but I told you they said no though. Well, then that's just like a speculation. What do you mean? It's not a speculation. You can't say that. It's just turning into an all because you're saying they're all gonna say no though. Yeah. 
We don't know that. We don't know that these kids are telling the truth either, do we? No. But, do you, but, you but there is a higher chance that they are. Why is there a higher chance? Because just, just because they said yes? No, because that's how it is in court. What do you mean? Like, just, just records of stuff. Just because somebody says yes? There is a higher chance that victim... That that that, per- that victim is telling more of the truth than mm-hmm. than the person being accused. Yeah. A higher chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But that's what I'm saying. How do how, how do how do we say Michael Jackson was guilty or Michael Jackson was innocent? That's what I'm waiting on. What do you mean? Because you're asking for part evidence that could be literally gone. Mm-hmm. Literally gone. Mm-hmm. Just never. I know. Okay, that's fine. Truth. But you tell me what is one way that we can say he's innocent or he's guilty. Because I'm just waiting on that at this point. I mean, his camp needs to come out and say something. Because they haven't said much. Uh, well, they have said. They've defended him. They haven't said that much. Brian, you, you look up these videos from like a week ago or like five oh, days the, ago. The niece came of, out. Of all his brothers. All his brothers coming out and saying he didn't do anything. That's not what I, I need to know other things. You need a maid? No, I need to know other things. What, a, what, a, what was Michael going? Like, why was Michael so fascinated with kids? They they say it in the interview, why, bro. Like, you have to why, watch the video. Why was he why was he constantly contacting these kids after he would leave their lives? What was his obsession with these kids in general? Mm, that's There's fair. a bunch of other questions you can ask. Mm-hmm. And that's why his camp needs to say something. Not just his well, niece, not, not just his niece saying Okay, that. but don't say they're not saying anything because they are saying stuff. They're not saying much. His niece they, they are say saying a lot. Lying, that's it. They are saying a lot though. They're just not obviously they're not going against him, they're defending him. But they are don't they're not silent or anything. They've been on like hell of morning shows and radio shows like this whole past two weeks. Like all of them. Yeah, and they're just like crying. They're like my brother. No, they're brother defending him. This. What do you want them to do? They're just saying that he wouldn't do it because they know him. So okay, how well did you know? How well how many how many they're hours? Brothers, bro, like because Michael Michael was con- was talking to these little kids over the phone all the time for mm-hmm. hours. Mm-hmm. How long was he talking to his own family? That's what yeah, I need to know. Okay, how, so that's, how many that's what days you were you kicking it with your with your brother uh-huh. when he was spending time with other with, with little, the little kids? kids? Okay. That's and then fair. depending that, on that's how much time they were spending yeah. with Michael, mm-hmm. then yeah, it depends on how how well do you really know Michael? Mm-hmm. It's like little stuff like that. Yeah, that's fair to say. Like, I like that point. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I wonder like after Michael had kids, I wonder if he still. Um, kept on having kids over because I don't know I didn't look into that I think Michael got depressed after he had kids I think Michael got really messed up in the head but because he had kids or just no, no, no. just think, after like no, no, in general no, no. I think, I think in general because of uh, how the media portrayed everything. everything I think everything caught up to him once he had kids you remember when he was because he, I mean I th- I'm trying to remember what the doc said because he had the kids and then right after he had the kids um, I want to say he invited that's when he invited Wade when Wade was in Vegas mm-hmm. but like yeah. Wade, Wade wasn't a kid but Mm-mm. still like, he still was in contact with him mm-hmm. but then he like he died right after soon after but yeah I think mm-hmm. I think he stopped hanging out with kids shortly a couple years before he died I don't know for sure, yeah. but I think so. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm literally just waiting. At this point, not. I'm not ignoring what everybody, like the accusers. I'm not ignoring them at all. Like it's fine. Like you can talk. Like I'm not saying like to shut the fuck up or anything. Like, but it's just been so. It's been going on for like the past twenty years. Like I said, like I can't. You can't expect me to be like, oh, here, here's another one. Like you know, like yeah. like oh, here is another one. Like just. But this is the first documentary, is it not? Uh, I think there's been one before, but it, it was never like like huge, like HBO, like like this, like two. HBO's not that big. It's pretty big though. No, when I was telling you about HBO, HBO was not that big. It's pretty big though. Barely. I mean, people know about what HBO. What do people go to HBO for? Game of Thrones. What else? No, but I'm saying, but people <laughs> know about HBO, right? Yeah, people know the name HBO. It's a big, it's people, a big name. But, I'm not saying I'm not. Think, I'm not. I don't, I don't think HBO's not, all that. I'm not I don't asking. Think HBO's as big as. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not asking how many people are subscribed to it or anything like that. That's what I'm saying. That's all their viewers. No, I know. But people can do. You know, we'll do the pirated. Sh- you know. Yeah, but like still. Yeah, but as long as HBO is a big name, I'm saying it's a big company. So, it's dying down. It is. I think There's it's gonna go a boxing. Like a boxing. Stars. A boxing. 
We don't got boxing no more. I mean, I don't think HBO, whatever. It's a side, side part, anyways. I think it, I think they could have if it wasn't because it hasn't been reported how much they made from it either way. Mm-hmm. But I think there there was one there was one guy that came out recently, and he said he was offered six figures to to be I don't know if it's be in the documentary or 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 do an interview to say like to, just to talk about Michael. And he said no. He was just like, no, he's like, I ain't, I ain't A guy him. and a random guy or what? Uh, no, it was like one of the kids that went to Neverland Ranch. But like I said, oh, this, kid. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even know if well, I, I mean, believe him saying I mean, that. I mean, Jimmy Jimmy did say when Michael called him to defend him mm-hmm. uh, the second time. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy told him, nah. Like, mm-hmm. Jimmy cut him off. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Jimmy cut, out, cut off Michael. Mm-hmm. Um, that Michael said, if you ever come out and say anything. Or he, this is what he just said. He said Michael started uh, threatening him. Mm. Yeah, I stuff. remember him saying that he was like, uh, Michael told us. I think that's what I mean. It's different when you're going against someone with power, mm-hmm. someone with money. Like, people are scared to speak. I understand the scared to speak part, but the, if you were to come out straight up, like, oh, bro, just, uh, I can't get over the fact that because, Wade. Because uh, someone could come out and say that, that, that all that happened, mm-hmm, yeah. but they can't get sued. And then they would have to face. The Jackson family in court, mm-hmm. his estate. That's what, that's that, that's what I'm saying. I'm on the same page as you. That's why I say they need to have the hard evidence or like proof. Because if, like I said, like you just said, like they can't just say if they were to just say like, oh yeah, Michael touched me, like well, you could get sued, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You the the person, the accuser could get sued. But then like, that makes them feel like now they have to live with something that will never get solved. So you're you see, you're you're saying that, I understand where you're where you're going with it. Go ahead. Yeah, so you're saying you need hard evidence. You're not going to get into. Mm-hmm. You're not going to believe it until it happens. Mm-hmm. Now there's victims that have to live with it mm-hmm. because it's it's going to be impossible. Because to prove. they don't have any. Like, it's going to be impossible yeah. to prove it. Yeah. It's not that they don't have. Yeah. It, it's going to be impossible. But I know, yeah, to prove but like I said, I'm not ignoring. Them. I'm not telling them to shut the up. They can say whatever they want. I'm just saying I personally don't believe like either of these two gentlemen in the in the documentary. I don't. Yeah, neither do. But if they, so I wouldn't I be. I would not be mad if. Either of them were to come out with evidence, I would be like, okay. I didn't believe you before, but like, I don't I'm, really believe Jimmy or Wade. Uh, I, I don't believe Wade more than. Like, I believe Jimmy, if anything. Really? Yeah. He just seemed hurt. Jimmy looked like he missed them. Jimmy looked like he just seemed hurt, though. He seemed hurt that he was like. Because they got married. Bro, yeah. Don't, don't even. Why? Because he gave him a ring off his fucking jewelry stand. Like, he did. But do you yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Jimmy like, was his first. Well, you gotta stop. That was his, he was. That's what Jimmy said. Jimmy said I was his first sexual uh, everything. <sighs> it's wild. It's crazy. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Really, I don't really believe him. Um, well, like, like I said, I'm not. I'm not gonna be mad at all if somebody. Were I to wasn't come the out. biggest fan of the documentary. I think they needed to include. They should have got someone. They should have found someone closer, like a worker of his. Oh my, yeah. Just Not even that. You can't get someone a worker. else. You can't get like a at maid. least. No, you can't, at bro. Least. You know why no, though? Because minimum though, at least. But they already, they did kind of get the maid, right? You nah, said like the nah, maid. They didn't mention it. I thought you said they did. Nah, that was a back. That was backstory. Oh. <laughs> you. That's that. why I didn't like the documentary. It was like they didn't too pull out biased. Yeah. It was too much this side. Like it wasn't like they didn't they didn't even pull up interviews of Michael of the, of like maybe Michael was trying to like you, things that we could see and try to read Michael's face expression mm-hmm. like try to read Michael. I'll like, send you a video. Fine. I have I have one. I'll, I'll put it in the link maybe too. But it, yeah, I'll, but, I'll, I'll send a video that like, the, he, this guy's interviewing him with like a kid next to him. It was, it was awkward to watch. Like you could kind of see something. It was awkward. I'll I'll, sh- I'll show you. But yeah, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Well, they said they said that Michael, like when he was like close to his death, was kept on saying like, "They gonna kill me." And shit. I remember that. Yeah, you remember that. I remember shit? like Illuminati stuff, bro. Hey, it's just conspiracy. Bro, I don't believe that, bro. I Michael, no, nah, like you said, Michael kill him. I believe it just because he just bought Sony, bro, and he owned it bro, for a minute, and he bro. was trying to buy all of it to bro. like start a. This will own the Beatles catalog. Yeah, that. That's, Hell, that's, f-ing. oh my god. That's the only reason, but I don't think that has anything to do with. His case. Don't you know he owns the rights to Happy Birthday? The song? Does he? Yeah. Maybe. Have you ever gone to a restaurant and they sing like Happy Happy nah, Birthday? No, the state sold everything. I know. Well, now he doesn't own it. Now he say, doesn't have it. The state sold it for like 750 yeah. But you used to not be able to sing that in restaurant, bro. Because you get sued. That's, Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
to put on the, the James Bond theme too somehow because it was a part of like it was some crazy shit just on everything bro they said he was estimated to be worth like 1.2 billion at a time he was in debt though it's fucking crazy he was hella in debt yeah no and I think that yeah he, still, he started selling hell of his close to the end yeah, of his yeah. death like he started that's mainly bro yeah I'm done with this Michael was stuff that too much power um we're just waiting on something to come out that straight up says he did it or not Maybe Cause that, that's all That's all we can hope for At this point honestly It sucks I wonder if it, one of his Family members came out I, th- I think Latoya Jackson Did come out like A couple years ago But it wasn't like Allegations or anything She was just saying like Oh Like uh Nobody in my family Has like called Michael out On his like weird Fascination with like Children type shit. But then like She came out again Years later saying like Yeah I think I saw that Yeah but It wasn't weird where like that she wasn't really talking to I the family. Her, yeah, I think her husband. And her, uh, they said her, her husband, husband made her do, her do it. it you know what I'm like Yeah, so I don't. I don't and then, like, like she got paid to uh, talk about Michael's death, seeing like set up and stuff. I don't, you know, I don't even believe. That. I don't but, know what to believe, bro. I don't know what to believe. I can't believe everything I hear. You know. Yeah. Anyways. I'm about, about we, done with this. Yeah, we done. That was deep ass. Oh, yeah. Pretty long. Yeah. I'm right. right, out. Deuce. See you.